Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we will be discussing a job test to build a financial model. We will walk through key questions and the answers you need to know. Our exercise for today is to build a simple financial model from 2022 to 2027. We are hoping to understand the potential investment implications for this business. Our first question is to forecast top line revenue performance. It is forecasted to grow at the same rate as 2021 through 2022. If we want to calculate our revenue growth in the last year, we can use 2022 divided by 2021 minus one, and we've grown 10% in the last year. I can simply link this up and then multiply my 2022 value by one plus our revenue growth rate. I can fill those to the right. And what we have is a really simple top line forecasted revenue growth. Question number two, gross margin is expected to average 2021 and 2022. If we wanna forecast this, we need to understand what the gross margin has been in our actual year. Gross profit divided by revenue gives us our gross margin. If we want to calculate the average, we can use equals average of those two years and then simply link that throughout the rest of our file. I will make this blue and italic to show that it is an input and then forecast my cost of goods sold by multiplying my revenue, multiplied by one minus my gross margin and then calculate my gross profit by subtracting my cost of goods sold from my revenue. I can fill those to the right and now I've calculated my gross profit. Question number three, operating expenses are expected to grow at 50% the rate of revenue growth during the forecast period. And then build out a helper row to forecast my OPEX. If I multiply my OPEX growth by my revenue growth, this has given me my OPEX growth throughout the forecast period. I can multiply my operating expenses by one plus the OPEX growth and then calculate my EBITDA by just simply subtracting OPEX from gross profit. Question number four, assuming a 10 times entry and exit multiple with a purchase in 22 and a sale in 27, Calculate the multiple and invested capital and IRR for the proposed investment. What is our purchase price? We are entering at 10 times multiplied by our 2022 EBITDA, and we are exiting at 10 times multiplied by our 2027 EBITDA. Our multiple and invested capital will simply be our sales price divided by our purchase price. This is how much we've made on the investment in a very simplified all equity deal. Our IRR will be our multiple and invested capital raised to one divided by the number of forecast periods. So one divided by five minus one, giving us an IRR of 19.4%. Another way you could calculate that is using the RRI formula. This returns the equivalent interest rate for the growth of investment. So the first argument is periods. There are five periods. My present value would be my purchase price at entry and my future value would be my sale price at exit. Returns the same exact answer as calculating it manually. Question number five, update all financial format to show a dollar sign and one decimal. For our revenue, we can do this a couple different ways. So we can go here, we can click home tab, we can click dollar and then click this decrease decimal button and that would work for us. We could also come down here, maybe select the first section and go control one, number, currency, decimal place one, and then fill this format into the right, control C, control V, T. We'll do that for us really quickly. Or in this last example, copy this formatting, fill it to the right, and then select this whole section, control one, custom number format, dollar sign, 0, 0.0. Different ways to update your number formatting in Excel. Question six, update all years to reflect actuals versus projected. For our first two actual years, we can use a custom number format and use zero, quotation mark A, and then for our forecasted periods, we can go back and create another custom number format, zero quotation mark F, to show that it's forecasted. One nice little bonus tip here is adding a separator border. So if you go to control one border, you can use this dashed on the right, and now you can see really easily what is your forecast period versus what is your actual period. Mm -hmm.